So this is why it's important to check first. <laughs> Time to do some oil changing on the caddy today. Good enough for me. Six. Yes, that is the correct. I think this car leaks a little bit of everything. Engine oil all over the pan. Oh, I smell gear oil, but that's in here from the Chevette when I did the trans. Look at the floor under this thing. So I did those brake lines a while back. I think you guys might have seen a bit of a short clip of that because I didn't end up taking a lot of video. That was a frustrating job to say the least. Just because it was one line after the other, I ended up having to replace all of them all the way back to the, uh, actually everything. I had to change every single line on it. Look at like the rot in the floor. That's the driver's side. <laughs> the car's covered with uh, undercoating. I think it was like a bed liner spray at one time also. So it really, I think what it did is it captured all that moisture and it's holding it in. And so it's just rotting from the inside out. But I just hit 190, I don't know, 192,000 kilometers. It's getting to the point where I know that this car is not going to be around for too much longer. I just have to make it last for a little while. think, if memory serves me correctly, 15 mil, yep, oh I didn't grab my oil filter wrench, I'll see if I need it, it's kind of a hard spot to reach in this engine bay, there. now we play the waiting game. That is synthetic oil too. Uh, I'm normally running Mobile One, synthetic, 530 in all the vehicles. Just seems to be a good, uh, so far I've had good luck with it anyways. Just a nice, I don't know, I've been happy with it. It's a little bit pricey, but it does what it needs to do. At least a scrap chunk of cardboard keeps my butt dry. Oil filter wrench. I'm not even gonna attempt doing this bare hand. There we go. Just a shitty spot to try to reach. And start leaking. Alright. See all the mixture of different fluids in there. I never clean out the catch, I probably should. I just drain it into my empty oil jug and then it gets recycled. Okay, let's get a little dirty. 
So normally they tell you with synthetic oil and a synthetic oil filter, uh, you're supposed to be able to go like 10,000 kilometers between oil changes. I, I don't know, maybe you can. If that's what they're telling you, it's probably accurate, but personally I've only ever gone about 5,000 kilometers. I try not to go much over that, and like when I'm changing it, you can see it still has like it's a brown color, but there's still a little bit of clarity to it. I just was always taught at 5,000 is what you're supposed to change it. Maybe that's maybe that's like when you're using conventional oil. I don't know. It's it dark, but it's still got a bit of clarity. I mean, if I have to change the oil a little bit more often, but I get more life and less wear out of the engine, I mean, that's the real goal here, to try to make these things last as long as possible. It's not like they're cheap. Okay, so M1206, M1206, that means the filters are the same. Odds are the new one's going to fit upside down. Bang. There goes the old one. One thing I like to do is fill the uh, new filter with oil, just to cut down on the time that the engine has to try to push it all through. So I take my clean bottle of oil, and I don't know why I'm laying under the car and doing this, but whatever. And I fill that filter. It takes a bit of time for the uh, cartridge to get pen like all absorbed all the oil. Then you fill it up a few times and you kind of let it settle in there. And... All right, now it's staying pretty full. So that means I'm going to thread this sucker back on after I clean the seal or the seat for it. Just make sure that there's no crap in the way that's going to cause me an oil leak more than what I already have. Okay. So if you read the side of the oil filter, once the seal makes contact, then you're supposed to go about three quarters more of a turn. There's half. Almost there. I'll just snug it up a little bit with this guy here. Just a little bit. There. That ought to keep the leak out. And we're just about ready for the drain plug. I don't ever make them too tight. Ironic wiping the oil drips off, but because the car leaks oil, it's just like free undercoating for me. It's bad. Oh well. I could fix it, but the rest of the car is in such a shitty condition that I, I'm not even interested in trying to fix it. That's the problem, I guess. Oh well. Whatever. Okay, now I guess we'll have to add some oil to the top end. This car takes about a bottle or a jug and a half of this stuff, usually. So I always have a bit of extra left over in the trunk. So I'll pour all of this half a bottle in and then I'll get the fresh one and start pouring until I'm full on the dipstick. Not all that exciting. Just watch the golden goo go down the hole. Well, it's getting there. <clears throat> oh 
will get a little bit more oil. I will go in the house and grab another jug and pour a tidbit more in there. <laughs> yeah, we'll give her a few more drinks in here. That stuff's been in the house, so it's a little thinner. Well, maybe not. My imagination. Let's see where we land on the stick. Gotta be getting up to the full point now. I always like to put a little bit extra in this car because it does come out. That looks pretty decent to me. Shall start it, see if it blows up. Are there any oil drippings? Not any more than normal. Now we back it off and break the bumper in the process. Like a glove. Oh, it's still attached. Ow. That was dumb. I see it in there. Good. Luckily for this car, to check the transmission fluid, you have to remove a lot of stuff here. I think it's that cap down inside. It kind of sucks. I just learned to ignore it. Oh, I should wipe my hands and then we'll reset the oil light monitor. <clears throat> Okay, 192,000 kilometers, or 120,000 miles in and around that area. Let's make info. There it is. Reset. Holding, holding. Done. That's how you change the oil, this sucker. Thanks for watching.